Hey you guys, it's Shamira aka me. Let me get straight into it. Today is Talk Your Shit Tuesday and I'm definitely going to talk some shit, but in a good way, okay? So the message of today is to stop allowing people who are low vibrational to bully you and to try to convince you that what you are and what you're doing and where you're going is not enough, okay? I'm going to give you guys a an analogy, okay, in form of a story. And I just woke up from a dream and I am urged to uh, give you the story exactly like this. This is the story for me. It's coming directly from uh, me. I did not hear it from anywhere else, but um, I just definitely had to clear that up, okay? The story is of a bird, which is you, and a group of pigs, okay? So you're flying through the air one morning. It's really wet. You can smell the scent of rain and mud. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, this is a great day to go worm hunting. So you fly around, fly around, and you see a big, great patch of mud, okay, which lies within the farm. So you think to yourself, this is a great day for me to uh, eat, okay, with no issues. It's a big, great day for me. So you land on this farm, and you walk, and you walk, and you walk. Because you're low to the ground, you have to be low to the ground in order for you to hear the worms in order for you to grab the worms because they're not coming up from the, the dirt. They're not coming up from the mud. So you know you have to put in a little bit of work, right? So as you're walking and hopping along as a bird, you run into a group of pigs, okay? I say about a good three of them, three to five. They're rolling around in the mud running around, chasing each other, eating slop. And they happen to see you, one of them, happen to see you, and they stop. Okay? So he called the other pigs, and they all gather around you, and they stop in front of you. They start whispering to each other, and they start to laugh. And you stand there, and you're thinking to yourself, where, well, well, why are they all laughing at me? Okay? So the leader of the pigs walk to you and tell you, Ugh, who are you? What are you? Look at you. They automatically start attacking your looks. They automatically start going in on you and telling you how much you are not worth anything when it comes to that farm. What are you doing? They ask you. Your response is, I'm looking for food. One of them say, well, how can you look for food with those little eyes of yours? You say, well, I'm listening for the food. Another one laughs. How can you listen for food with no ears? Where are your ears? I can't see them. You say, well, I don't need these ears. I have ears, but I don't need big ears. I can still hear them. Another one said, how can you hear food? You mean smell? Where's your nose? What is that thing on your face? Talking about your beak. You tell them, well, this is my tool that I, I used to smell for food and to get my food to eat. Another one says, with a beak like that, with a mouth like that, you'll never be able to eat anything. Another one looks at you and say, with those skinny legs of yours, how are you able to eat any food? You can't race us, you can't beat us to the food. Not with those legs. You'll go hungry all day. They look at each other, they start giggling, they start laughing, okay? Sizing you up, just going in on you, okay? But you stand there and you continue to scavenge the land. 
You start picking at the ground. And they tell you, well, the food is not on the ground. Do you eat mud? We use mud to roll in. We are eating slop. We're eating this food right here. Have some, have some. I bet you can't beat me to that food. And you look at them quietly. And you continue to pick at the ground. Another one asks you, what are you looking for? There's no food in the ground. And what they don't know, because they're vibing so low, is that those worms that you guys are looking for, it may be in a place that they cannot see. Because they were not equipped with what you were equipped with. They don't know that you have those small eyes. But those small eyes will allow you to see far what you need to see. They don't know with that uh, non-visible ears that you guys can hear from miles and miles away. You can hear what you need to hear. They don't know with that small nose and that beak that you guys can smell from distances. You guys can use that beak to pick through, to get things, to nourish your body. You can receive rewards from places that they cannot see, that they are not aware of. And just because it's not on the surface level, it does not mean that you guys are not reaping those rewards. And they do not know that your palate is so exquisite, okay? That your taste buds do not crave the slop they're eating. What you need is deep and rich. That will do your body more good than their slop. They do not know that with your skinny little legs, there's no need to have bigger ones because you're equipped with something totally different from what they can actually comprehend. See, they saw you hop when they first encountered you, okay? They're completely unaware of your wings. They don't know what else you guys are equipped with, so they naturally do what they do best because something is different, because you look different. They start to ridicule you, criticize you, and start to pick away at your worth and your self-esteem because they feel like who they are, where they are, is all that is. While they're making fun of you and how slow they may perceive you to be, they don't know everything that you guys are, like I said, equipped with. They don't know your abilities. They don't know where you're going. They don't know where you have been. But they feel a need to put you down. Tear you apart. Because there's no way a little person, a little thing like you, can be any better than they are. What those pigs don't know is that they are only confined to that piece of land. You may be vast to them. But you guys have experienced something much bigger. They do not know that they cannot go past that farmland. That if they do, they cannot survive without a farmer giving them food. They don't know that because they're vibing so low. They feel like where they are is all that is. And what you are because you're so small and you're so different that you cannot survive within their lands. Okay, so you keep picking, you pick, you pick, you get your worms, you eat it. They don't see those worms because you guys are so stealthy with it. You guys are so surgical with it. You fill yourself up in less than a minute off of those worms. And like I said, because they haven't seen any worms that they don't know what you are doing, they can't, like I said, comprehend you or your abilities. So they look at you and they say, are you done? And you say, yeah, I am done. And by the way, I don't need big eyes because these small eyes, once again, they help me see what I need to see. They help me see from distances. And if I had big eyes, they would dry out in the wind. We look at the other pig and you tell them, yeah, I don't have big ears like yours. 
but I do have ears that can hear from distances. And if I have big old ears while I'm going where I'm going, they will hit me in my eyes and prevent me from seeing. You look at the other one and you tell them, I don't have a short, chunky stout for smell. Because if I did, it would just be in my, in my way. I can't see. It will block my eyes. So I have this small one on the top of my, my beak. I don't have a large mouth to gobble up slop because I don't need that. What I need is this beak to help me get what I can get. It may be below the surface, but it's definitely there. I get what I need for my body to be nourished. And that's all I need. No more, no less. And I have these skinny legs. It's not to race anyone. It's not to run. To cover this little bit of land that you are confined to. But it's to help me lighten up my load when I'm traveling and going where I'm going. They all look at you. They all laugh. Well, good luck with that. So you chuckle. You stand there. You open your big old wings. And they look at you in awe. Well, what is that? That's something new. <laughs> you look at them once again and you smile. And you fly off. Okay. You didn't once compete with those pigs. You didn't once uh, get angry with those pigs. You laughed. You in some way satisfied their curiosity because they were definitely curious little beings to look at you and to go in on you like that and compare and make those comparisons so bold to try to pick at your worth and tell you who you are. Or what you are. This message is to tell you guys that there's no need for you to explain yourself or to try to defend yourself against people who are low vibrational. Because no matter what you say, because their mind is so low vibing, their consciousness is stuck where they are, they're confined with their place of being they cannot comprehend the type of being you guys are sometimes you must allow people to make fun of you and believe what they're going to believe about you and put you in a certain box that they're in because once again their minds cannot comprehend how great you are but they can't comprehend the tools you guys have been graced with so there's no need for you guys to get angry get mad or like i said engage in Defending yourself and fighting with these people. They are not there. Okay. Sometimes you walk into environments. You walk into rooms with people who. All they see. Is something different. And like I said. They have a strong urge to attack it. Because their minds cannot understand it. They pinpoint what they feel like are weaknesses and flaws to. Try to make you feel bad or try to make you feel like you do not belong. And they're absolutely right. You don't belong. You're just passing through. Doing what you're supposed to do. On your journey. On your way. Okay? Do not allow small minds to get you to limit yours. Do not let or do not allow low vibrational people to tell you what you're worth and that your journey is stupid and what you're going for is stupid because they cannot see the rewards on the surface level okay what they're used to is way beneath you and you guys know it but instead of trying to make them feel bad about it, allow them to think what they're going to think. Like I said, they're only confined to what they can comprehend. And it's definitely not you. So take your wings, fly away, soar, 
and allow them to stay on the ground in their low vibration and keep them on the ground watching with their mouths wide open experiencing and witnessing the greatness that you are seeing you soar high as you can and higher than their mind can ever comprehend okay so i hope you guys got something from this message on your talk to your shit tuesday i hope you guys are having a great start of your week i will have a pick a card sometime in the middle of this week so stay tuned for that um if you guys like this you loved it of course support me show me some love baby like share subscribe and comment and i will see you guys next time mm -hmm. bye